Welcome to Sal's Classic Bodybuilding Archives. In today's episode, we're going back to September 1953, Muscle Builder Magazine. My Favorite Exercise Course by Steve Reeves. Enjoy. Many authorities recognize Steve Reeves as the greatest bodybuilder of all time. Regardless of opinion, all will agree that Reeves has the ideal combination of size, shape, and muscularity. Here's how he obtained it. I have always had definite views about bodybuilding, and although there are many authorities who have said I did not train correctly, yet I think the results I have achieved have proved my methods were the right ones. Each man presents different physique problems which have to be overcome in order that he reaches his greatest developmental potentials. But there are, of course, three important contributory principles. Exercise, rest, and diet. And lacking a single one of these, no man can hope to make the most of what nature has given him. I have been commissioned by Joe Weeder to tell you about my favorite routine, the program I use to win my most important awards. I intend to start off with the problem of exercise and give the actual movements that comprised my favorite program and the training principles involved at the end of this article. Since the first workout I took, I have believed that a successful schedule is composed of exercises that the bodybuilder enjoys performing. If you like certain exercises, it is obvious that you will put more effort into your training periods. You go through a program not as a duty, but as something that is a real pleasure. Exercise is meant to be enjoyed, not endured. One rule I always follow when I work out is to keep warm. For this reason, I train in a heavy track suit. I never train stripped to the waist, but wear training togs, even when the weather is warm. During my training, I sip a glass of orange juice and honey. This provides a quick source of energy and helps to reduce fatigue. I never hurry my workout, but take my time and concentrate on every single repetition, every exercise. In my mind, I visualize the action of the muscle group being exercised and put everything I have into the job of building up shape and power. Rest is another important part of the bodybuilding schedule and means not only sleep, but relaxation. I always obtain eight hours sleep each night and on my training nights take a walk of an hour in fresh air before retiring. On my rest days I try to take things a little more easier than on my training days. I listen to good music, read good books, go to a movie, or enjoy the company of pleasant companions. Good food is something else I have always thought of as an important part of a bodybuilding program. No man can expect to make progress if he crams himself with muck. I have always kept my starch intake down to a minimum and have made sure my daily diet included plenty of fruits, salads, and green vegetables and was high in protein content. Seedless raisins, nuts, honey, oranges, and milk have been basic parts of my daily diet. I arrange my schedule so that each major muscle group is dealt with in turn. I use three exercises for each group and perform a single set of each, making three sets in all. My program is arranged so I do all the upper body work first and the lower sections 
of the physique next. Sole exceptions are the abdominals and neck, which come last in the program. I have my own particular system of repetitions and how I increase the resistance. I have found by experiment that these work best for me and discovered no better system. I commence with a weight I can just squeeze 8 repetitions from and work up to 12. When I reach 12 repetitions, I increase the weight by 10 pounds and start in again with 8 repetitions and work up to 12 again and so on. I rest 2 minutes in between each set and 4 minutes between each muscle group. Let's get on to my favorite bodybuilding routine now. First, I start with the deltoids. Exercise 1, barbell press behind the neck. Number 2, dumbbell side raises. Number 3, dumbbell forward raises. Next come the pectorals. Exercise 1, the wide grip bench press. Number two, incline bench press with dumbbells. Number three, dumbbell flying motion. Next come the lats. Exercise one, bent forward barbell rows. Number two, one arm dumbbell rows. Number three, bent arm pullovers with a barbell. Next are biceps. Exercise one, barbell curl. Number two, the incline bench curl with dumbbells. Number three, one arm dumbbell concentration curls. Next come the triceps. Exercise one, tricep press with a dumbbell. Exercise two, incline bench tricep curls. Number three, lat machine triceps press down. Now we move down to the lower body and start with the thighs. Exercise number one is the full deep knee bend. Exercise two are barbell half squats. Exercise three are hack lifts. Next, we move on to the lower back. Exercise one is the stiff-legged deadlift, followed by exercise number two, the good morning exercise. Exercise three are reverse sit-ups on an exercise bench. I lie face down on the bench with the tops of my thighs over the end and a training partner holds me down. Then I lower and raise the trunk by bending at the hips. Next, we move on to the calves. Exercise one is the calf raise on the leg press machine. Exercise two are seated calf raises. Exercise number three are one-legged calf raises using just body weight. For the abdominals, Exercise one is the sit-ups on the abdominal incline board. Number two is the same movement, but with the knees raised. Exercise three is the final abdominal movement, which are leg raises. Our last body part is the neck. I use but a single movement for the neck. Neck resistant exercises the motion of the neck being forwards, backwards, and from side. The resistance is supplied by a training partner who places his hands against the back or front or side of my head and tries to stop it from moving. This is my favorite routine, the one I used when I was training intensively for the Mr. World and Mr. Universe contests. 
But bodybuilders must remember that my program might not suit every individual. It is possible that most of you will require a much different arrangement of exercises and training methods to mine. But those of you who find my program suits you will make good progress. My small contribution to your bodybuilding routines may or may not help you. In the final analysis, success depends on you. With patience, perseverance, and guts, and the right training program, there is nothing that can prevent your journey to bodybuilding stardom. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like, comment, Share and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And until the next video, keep training and chasing the dream.